guys welcome back to my channel it has been so long since i've actually filmed a video but today i am here so i'm excited and i hope i can keep and be consistent um yeah today i'm going to be talking about my first time ever shooting color film so like i've shot a lot of black and white well, i don't want to say a lot but a good amount of black and white and like um i also developed and processed it as well myself because like i was working out of a dark room but I no longer have access to that dark room. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try and do some color film shooting. So here I am. Um, I shot Kodak Portra 400. Um, this is the only color film I've tried shooting yet. I shot on my Mamiya RB67. I love it. Um, maybe I should do like a review of this camera one day. I don't know, but I really, 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 really love this camera. And um, yeah, it was like 345 well spent and I wouldn't trade it for maybe a Hasselblad, I don't know. But right now I wouldn't trade it for any other film camera. It's a couple images that did not come out as well as I hope they did, but that's life, you live and you learn, you know what I'm saying? But I did shoot two rolls at this shoot. As I said, this was my first time shooting color, but I am really proud of like being able to expose the film properly like I can't say like really any of the images are like too dark or like overexposed or anything like that so I really appreciate that so this is what the film when I went and picked it up this is what it came in this was my first time sending film off to a lab besides like you know back in 2000 when I was a kid and stuff like that and we would go through those throwaway cameras but it was really fun it took about eight to ten days and it's like that wait and anticipation to see what you actually have it really makes you appreciate photography for what it is so these are the two rolls that i got them in these little plastic sleeves to protect them obviously like most of it is i don't know i'm just talking as if you know nothing about film okay so these are them i get 10 shots per roll because I have a um I shoot six by seven these are all 10 frames and they're all like really nicely do um they're not like super thin or anything like that so that's great I don't know if you can I honestly don't know exactly if you can tell what color film I just know what black and white it is I guess I'm an amateur y'all but in due time I'll know what's going on this is the other roll this is the other roll. You can't see it. I know y'all can't see it. But it gives you an idea of what's going on. I think what I got, I got some pretty good images. So for an example, the digital version of this image, I don't know. Like I really it wasn't like my favorite image ever to have taken on digital, but I really, really like how the color showed up on film. So I don't know. This it's just so much better on film. I love it. I don't know. Like, I have read somewhere that Portra... Well, actually, on the Kodak site, though. The Kodak site says that, like, um, Portra is better for skin tones compared to Ektar. So, um, that's why I've been using Portra. But I might experiment and probably use Ektar really soon. Her skin tone really showed out in all of these images like I really love how it showed up I love how the red showed up it's like super vibrant but yes like I really love it do plan to shoot again um color film as well I don't know how soon I'm going to shoot black and white again but this was cool I mean it cost me $26 to develop two rows and for them to scan them so they gave me gave me it on a disc which is like okay but i mean it's like 2018 we don't need a disc like honestly i would have just appreciated if they would just email them to me and as you know like i don't have a i mean who has like a who really has like a cd thingy on their computer now in 2018 no one so yeah i, I kind of wish they didn't do the cd thing so yeah in the bag it was just the cd and the two rows of negative 
so you guys you know it was really just a quick video of me talking about me shooting film shooting color film for the first time so that's that you know so yeah that's all you guys i will be back with another video really really soon so please stay tuned and please make sure you subscribe um yeah because i really want to start pushing out some good content so it, let me know what you want to see all right guys see y'all in the next video